blades. Yoink! That's my favorite color. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Kotobo Kia statue review on my first review ever on Halo products. Big thanks to Kotobo Kia for sending this out my way. If you want to see the latest from Kotobo Kia, check the links below. These are the Halo 4 Artifacts plus 1 tenth scale pre painted statues. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. This one right here is the Master Chief where he has his tech suit and he comes with armor. These are two add-on armor sets. We have the Mark V right here and then the Mark VI on the side of the packaging. Uh, you can see this is held together with Velcro and then you can see the armor set and then you can see Master Chief right over there. And then on the back you can see an image of him armored up and then there's the Mark V and the Mark VI and there's read-ups on each of those if you want to read them pause it now. Then here we get some specs on the weaponry that comes with the figure and then on the side of the packaging for these guys we get the same read-up that we'd gotten on the packaging with the Master Chief. Alright let's get to it and crack these things open. And here Here's Master Chief out of the packaging. This is a very cool statue and I feel a little uncomfortable calling it a statue. It's almost a figure. This does have some articulation, a lot more than I actually thought it would have. I thought it just had head articulation, but you can move the shoulders and the arms around a little bit. From the waist down you get no movement, but I think it's very cool that they have added articulation to the Artifacts Plus statue. Of course you can see he's fully armed right here with the armor that came with the tech suit. I will show the other tech suits off in a minute. So let's take a closer look at the other accessories that come with this guy. First off, he comes with this gorgeous plaque slash base over here you can tell it's made out of metal and I like how we get the engraved halo right over there so that looks really good I like this a lot and then on the bottom it's got this felt and the statue has magnets on the bottom of the feet so it just stays on right there nicely now the figure comes with some really good directions as far as explaining how to put the armor on here. It's very easy, you just have to follow the directions and you actually don't even have to follow the directions, it goes on very well. And looking at the helmet sculpt over here, I think this looks really cool. Somebody had mentioned on my picture on Instagram that this is the correct color for the visor. I'm not too familiar with that, but if they're saying and that's the right color, it's cool to see. And I really like the reflective orangish gold that we're getting on it, it looks really nice. A lot of nice sculpted detail right over there, I like that gunmetal color, I like how the green kind of has this sparkly look in it. You can kind of see it right over there. Very nice material that they're using over here. I really dig that a lot. I like the damage that we get right there on the chest plate. That looks really cool. The tech suit has some nice texturing to it as well. Some nice silver right there. Or it's actually more of a gunmetal color right there on the shoulder pads. Looking right here on the back. This is looking really clean. So the attention to detail on this is superb. I really dig this a lot. Looking really, really sharp. Like in the elbows right over here. Gauntlets look pretty nice right there. The hands look pretty good. And then he does have interchangeable hands, which I have not shown off yet. Uh, for the left hand, you could swap out that fist for a relaxed hand. Nice detail right there on the glove and everything. That looks pretty sweet. Now on the right hand, you could replace it with this gun holding hand. And that's his blaster looking really cool. I like the details on this. Once I have this attached over here, I don't like taking it off. But just to demonstrate, it goes in the hand pretty easily. When you put this in, you want to take this side and slip that right in between the fingers right there. And they can swing the whole thing around like that. And that holds pretty nicely. Uh, interchanging the hands is a little tricky just because you're assembling the armor. These parts right here can get loose. So as far as grabbing something and putting this on, it uh, can get a little tricky. But it's just a minor gripe of mine. You know, As you can see, as I just demonstrated, it was not very difficult. Difficult. But looking at the crotch guard right over there, looks pretty solid, nice silver paint on the crotch guard, and we get a butt guard right over there, and you have to remove this so you can make his dookie, and then there you go, so that makes you know makes a lot of sense to me, I don't know, but yeah, the tech suit looks really good on this by the way, and then looking at the thighs right there, I really like how we get this touch of silver right there over the green, it looks really nice, knee pads look very solid, nice silver dry brushing. So great attention to detail on this. I really dig it a lot. It looks awesome. And then here's one last look at the back of the statue. You can see we get some more silver dry brushing right there. Just came out looking really good. So I'm going to remove all this armor and show off the Mark V armor. Will you take us away, Bumblebee? Okay, so like I said, this is pretty easy. Uh, just pop the head off right there. Take the hands off. Take this one off. Put these aside. Move Bumblebee aside. Take the forearm pieces. Just slide these out right there there slide this out right down here and as far as articulation goes I didn't really show it off but you know there is a ball joint right there for the head so you can look up some move down shoulders move outward they move forward bicep swivel and a single jointed elbow that does not meet 90 degrees and you get wrist swivel in there as well but that's all the articulate oh yeah you get a diaphragm joint here too so that moves side to side and it does move forward and back some and you can get some pivot so really nice movement right over there but anyway going back to this we can detach or want to remove the head 
side again, then detach these back panels. Whoop, that's just coming apart. And then moving this side, take the cr butt plate off, crotch plate off, and remove those patas, and then take off these pieces right here. So it all comes apart pretty easily, you know? It's not very difficult. Oop, did get a little bit of scrapings right there. That's not good. Oh yeah, the knee pads just pop off right there. Those plug in, and then take this off. Take that off, and there we have the tech suit all by itself. Which looks pretty good, you know? For this being an undergarment piece, it has a lot of detail on it. And you have some dry brushing right over there. And then I just wanted to get a closer look at this again so you could see all the details involved in this. So, yeah, they did not go cheap on any of the sculpted work at all. This looks really good. And here's the Mark V setup. Now, one thing that's really cool that I didn't mention earlier is that all the little pieces over here have little R's and L's on them so you know where to put what. Anyway, this guy does come with his own plaque as well, very similar to the first one, and it does have the magnetic feet as well. And then you get some new weapons. I uh, really like this piece over here. This looks like a blue plasma blade of some sort. I really like it though, transparent blue plastic right there with some white paint on it. That's pretty sick. I really dig that a lot. Nice and sharp too. And it kind of splits right over here at the end and you get this hand that's just meant for holding this only. You also get this smaller gun right over here with another hand that you can use to hold it. Nice paint apps on this too. A little bit of silver dry brushing on there. And then you get these two fisted hands and then you get this left relaxed hand right over there too. Now I really like the helmet sculpt on this. This looks really good too. Not as detailed on the visor as the other version. You know, this one over here had a lot more little pieces involved in it and I liked that. But yeah, looking at this guy, it does look really nice with that glossy orange. Nice little silver bits right over there. Really like this little bit right there. That looks really cool. Digging that. Again with the silver dry brushing. Just love it. You have the U-N-S-C right there. Sometimes I get my letters screwed up. Sorry. <laughs> Looking right over here. We get some nice etched out detail. Hand looks really good. This looks pretty nice. When you, when you put this piece together, I recommend you connect it by the crotch area first, like right under in the taint. You know, there's this part where it snaps together. So I suggest starting there and then snapping these two. Nice little details right over here. I like that a lot. I'm looking right there, you get the butt guard. Slightly different color greens right there. I like that attention to detail. Again, with the silver dry brushing. And you have some really cool pads right here for the legs, the knees. He kind of has big feet. I don't know, this one has a little bit bigger feet than the other version. But still looks really cool. I like it. Of course, we still have the magnets so we can get some nicely sculpted treads right there. All right, let's move on to the Mark 6 way. Take us away, Bumblebee. And here's Master Chief with the Mark VI armor looking really cool. This is my favorite one, not just because blue is my favorite color, but this has the most paint on it, I think, and a lot of details. We do get the same accessories that we got with the Mark V, so we get the same bladed weapon right here, and then the hand that comes with it to hold it, along with the same pistol or blaster that he can hold uh, with this hand right over there, again, with the silver dry brushing looking amazing. Then we get this relaxed hand for the left side as well. Now, I really like the helmet for this version, that gloss see metallic orange for the visor looks incredible nice etched out detail again nice paint apps on this I really dig it a lot nice gunmetal right over there a lot of little intricate pieces to this I really dig that nice variation of blue right there that's a very subtle color change Looking at the top of the head right there you can see the sculpted detail and he does come with the same plaque that the other ones came with too I didn't mention that earlier but yeah we get the same plaque and looking at the chest armor over here this looks really good really nice Digging this a lot. UNCS. I keep saying it backwards. UNSC. Jeez. Yeah, need to familiarize myself with. Need to get more familiar with Halo, I guess. But anyway, yeah, looking at this right there again. Nice silver dry brushing. I love that attention to detail. Just think this looks really cool. Then the crotch guard doesn't really have that much blue on it. I feel like they were getting a little gap of blue right there. Eh, but not a big deal. The butt guard has plenty of blue, though. Look on the back. This looks awesome. I really like that a lot. That looks really cool. Look on the thigh pieces right here. The thigh armor looks really nice. Knee pads look really good. Yeah, a lot of nice etched out details. Nice paint applications on this. And of course he has the magnets at the bottom of his feet. So this is a 110 scale statue and you can see Master Chief is standing at about eight inches tall. And then here's Master Chief next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. See, I like statues because they can't hurt me. They have no articulation. <laughs> So I think this is a really cool concept from Kotobukiya. I like the articulation a lot, especially for a statue. I think this is a great idea, and I like the interchangeable parts and the options that you get over here. I think that's pretty awesome. I really wish there was something like this for Iron Man. That would be incredible. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shart in your face. If you're 18 years or older, please check out the Patreon account. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And go to toynewseye.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later!
Bye. That's crispy. And looking at the helmet sculpt on this guy, I really... <clears throat>